Welcome to Pencil College. In chapter 2.6, we will be learning about the laws of logarithms. Okay, so the lesson objectives, basically we just want to internalize the laws and learn how to apply them to solve equations. Okay, and the other thing we want to do is to learn how to evaluate logarithm to any base. Okay, so there are a total of 8 laws of logarithm. Okay, just take note of the conditions in order for the laws to apply. So I've just stated the conditions at the top over here. Okay, for the first law, it is already uh, got, it has already been uh, you know stated quite clearly in the previous chapters. So I shall skip this for now. For the second law, okay, let me just give you a numerical example. So for example, log five of one, okay, log base five one is equals to zero. Okay, this is true because a is not equivalent to one. Okay, a can be any number, any positive number, but not one. Okay, the next. The, the third law, okay, let me just illustrate. So log 2, 2, for example, is equals to 1. Okay, one more example. Log 5, 5, for example, is equals to 1. Okay. Fourth law. So log base, let's say, 2, okay, of 3 times 5. We can break it down to log base 2, 3, plus log base 2, 5, Okay. Take note that multiplication over here can be broken down to addition, okay? And this only work if it is a common base. So similarly, this law can also work the other way. So log 2, 3 plus log 2, 5 will be equals to log base 2, 3 times 5, okay, which is 15. Okay, one, another example for the, the last law over here, okay, law number 5. So log, let's say 2, 3 over 5 is equals to log 2, 3 minus log 2, 5. Okay? Okay, don't, don't worry if you are still unsure of, the, of using, uh, you know, the laws because later in examples, I will be showing how each law can be utilized. Okay, the next law, law number 6. Okay, so for example, log 2. 2 to the power of 3, okay, can be broken down to 3 log 2, 2, okay. The 3 here will go to the front, okay, because this 3 is the is a power of 2, okay, as you can see from the law over here. So, the R comes to the front of the logarithm. Okay, next one. The, the last two laws are probably the more important ones. They are known as the change of base law. So log AB is equals to log CB over log CA. So what do I mean? So for example, if I have log um, 5, 7, okay, I can introduce any new base as my base C. So for example, I introduce base 8. So base 8, okay, so in this case, in this example, my A is 5, my B is 7, okay. So log CB, so B is 7 over log C A. A is 5. Okay, so in this example, if you guys cannot see very clearly, A is 5, B is 7, and C is 8. Okay, so to, to make it clearer. Okay, the other way to apply a change of base law, okay, I'm going to apply on the same example. So log 5, 7 is equals to 1 over log 7, 5. Okay, that's the other way to apply change of base. Okay, so in summary, these are the eight laws of logarithm. I strongly suggest you copy down, okay, and have it at, you know, the side of your, of your working whenever you're dealing with any logarithms question. It will be really helpful. Okay, now example number one, I have left the eight laws of logarithm on the top left and right hand corners of the screen. So as I explain, I will tell you, or I will, I will emphasize which law I'm using. Okay, so log 2.8. Okay, what I'm going to do for the first one, I will re rewrite the number 8 as 2 to the power of 3. Okay, then I will bring the 3 down front. Okay, and this in this step, I'm applying law number 6, as you can see over here. Next step, log 2, 2 is just 1. Okay, how do I know that? Because I'm applying log num law number 3, as you can see over here. So finally, 3 times 1 is just 3. Okay, example 1b, log base 10 
1 over 10. 1 over 10 can be written as 10 to the power of negative 1, okay? And then from here, I will apply law number 6, as you can see. Over. So I can further write this as negative 1 log 10, 10. Okay, and similar to the, the previous example, log 10, 10 is just 1. And final answer is negative 1. Why is log 10, 10, 1? Because I'm applying law number 3, as you can see over here. Okay, moving on, log 654 can be written as log 6, okay, 54 over here. And for, okay, so I'm not going to touch the first expression, but I'm going to do something to the expression at the back. This, num this 2 that you see over here can be brought up to the P to make it look like this, okay? So what does this mean? And which law am I applying? I'm applying law number six but in a reverse manner so in this case my r is two so the r will go up to the power of x okay so in this case two goes up to the power to become the power for three okay in time let me simplify a little further so three squared is just nine okay and finally i will be applying law number five as you can see over here okay in a reverse manner so log ax minus log ay is equivalent to log a x over y. Okay, so in this case, my x is 54 and my y is 9. Okay, so 54 over 9. And finally, 54 divided by 9 is just 6. And log 6, 6, as we learned earlier, in law 3 is just 1. Okay, so that's all for example 1. Okay, moving on. In example 2, we will, in example 2a, we will first apply, okay, law number 6, okay, to the second and the third expressions. So the first one, I'm going to leave it untouched. I'm going to bring the power, the 2, okay, to become the power of 3 fifth. So this, this becomes 3 fifth square. And 4 up to become the power of 3 over 2. Okay, so from here, let me just simplify further first. So 8 over 75 minus log 3 over 5 squares, 9 over 25. And this is just 3 to the power divided by 2 to the power of 4, which is just 81 over 16. Okay, so let me just bring you guys back to law number 4 and number 5. Okay, so law number 4 says that if you were to add two logarithms with a common base together, it will turn into a multiplication. And law number five says that if you were to minus two logarithms with a common base, it will become a division, okay? So in this case, log, okay, or LG, just to recap, LG is equivalent to log base 10, okay? Log base 10. Okay, so how to simplify this? 8 over 75 minus this will become will, will change into a division sign and the plus sign will change to a multiplication sign okay using law number 4 okay press this whole thing in your calculator you just get log 3 over 2 okay as for example 2b what we will do we will first apply a trick on the number 3 as you can see over here so 3 is equivalent to 3 times 1. Okay, you will see why I'm doing that later. And, and I can change the 1 to log of 10. Okay, why is this so? Okay, let me just explain. So, okay, so recall that log of 10 is equivalent to log base 10 10 and using law number 3 log 10 10 is just 1 so the reverse is true so 1 is equivalent to log 10 as you can see what i've done over here okay so for the term at the back i will shift the 2 to become the power of 5 so this becomes 5 square and i'm going to do the same trick for the term in front so this becomes 10 power 3 so 5 squared is just 25, okay? And then finally, recall that the negative sign, okay, or the minus sign for logarithm were division. So log 10 power 3 divided by 25. 
Okay, if you just work this out, you just get log of 40. Okay, that concludes example 2. We will move on to example 3.